If you're like me, when you first started watching birds, you didn't know what kind most of them were. So I created this online identification test to help people to learn the birds that are in their backyard. I'm going to take the test here. And if later you want to try it yourself, you can go to birdquiz.walkingdown.com. I'll have the link in the description. This bird is one of the few that can walk head first down trees. And they don't migrate very far. But in some years when food is short in the north, there is an eruption and they will for travel further south in search of food. This bird is a red-breasted nuthatch. This bird is part of a family of birds that can mimic other birds. And this one is probably the most well-known of them as it can string together 10 or 15 different bird sounds in a row. This is the northern mockingbird. One of the most common birds in North America. This bird in the sparrow family is sometimes known as snowbirds. This is the dark-eyed junco. These birds are only in my location briefly during migration, both in the spring and the fall. This one is a male, and the females are brown and look a lot like female purple finches. This bird is a rose-breasted grosbeak. These birds are considered to mark the beginning of spring, although they typically stay around all year round. It's just that you don't see them as often in the winter because they're not in your yard looking for worms. This bird is a American Robin. For such a small bird, it can sing very loudly. You may be familiar with the tea kettle, tea kettle song. It's the males only that sing this song. They're also known for their strange places to nest, such as boots, grills, and flower pots. This is the Carolina Wren. This tiny green gray bird has a distinctive ruby colored spot on its head, but that's only the males and even those are hidden most of the time. This is the ruby crowned kinglet. This very familiar blue colored bird is very intelligent and known for their fondness of acorns. This is the blue jay. This is one of my favorite birds. I build bird houses for these and I've had a lot of successful nests and I can put cameras inside the boxes and get video from inside and I do have other videos that show that footage. This is the eastern bluebird. This raspberry colored finch is often confused with the house finch. The female of this species is brown and less distinguishable. This is the purple finch. This brightly colored red bird is the state bird of seven states. It is very familiar to a lot of people. The females are also beautiful with brown feathers and red accent. It is the northern cardinal. This yellow bird is the only one of its kind that eats large quantities of seeds and it's the pine seeds that it likes the most. This is the pine warbler. This little bird has a bold personality and is very courageous at feeders and sometimes will even eat out of your hand. This is the Carolina chickadee. This small woodpecker is very common at backyard feeders. The male has a little red patch on his head and the female does not. The larger hairy woodpecker looks very similar. This is the downy woodpecker. When these birds take off, their wings make a whistling sound. They also make a very distinctive cooing sound. This is the morning dove. You often find these nesting on your front porch. In fact, one summer I had a single pair breed 13 babies. This is the house finch. If you're lucky, you can catch a glimpse of these birds running along the ground. They have beautiful yellow eyes. This is the brown thrasher. A distinguishing feature of this small sparrow is its rusty brown head. It is the chipping sparrow. 
This bird is often confused for the red-headed woodpecker because its head is red. And for the males of the species, the red goes all the way down to its beak, whereas females have a gray patch between their beak and their head. This woodpecker has a slight red belly, which is where it gets its name from, the red-bellied woodpecker. Like the red-breasted nuthatch, this bird sometimes migrates south during eruption years, and you'll see lots of them at your feeder, and then other years you won't see any. These brown birds have beautiful yellow accents on their feathers. This is the pine siskin. You'll find these birds rummaging around in the undergrowth. The females are brown on their back and head, where the males are black in those areas. You may recognize their familiar chewing call. This is an eastern tohi. These are the only hummingbird that come to my area. The male of the species has a red colored throat, but the female doesn't have this. This is a ruby-throated hummingbird. Like the mockingbird, this bird can mimic other bird sounds, but it's probably most known for sounding like a cat meowing. This is the gray catbird. This bird is recognized for its bright yellow feathers, but these are only this way in the summer for the male. During the winter, they are more of a drab yellow and look more like a female. This is the American Goldfinch. If you've heard these birds call before, you will recognize them anywhere. They're known for their male's red-colored wings, but in the wintertime, that red is very faint and usually covered up by their feathers. The females of this species are brown. This is a red-winged blackbird. After completing the quiz, click the Submit button. To see how many you got right, click View Score. Here you can see your score and see which bird you got right. And under each bird there's a video with more footage of these beautiful birds. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.